going to start by selecting this object holding shift to select multiple objects then you click on this icon to edit the object convert it to editable format then i have that so for extrude to work you need to first convert this object from parametric to an editable format then afterward you can start choosing any of this mode this sub component mode you have the point mode you have the edge mode and the polygon mode so we won't talk about extrude extrude means giving geometry to an object so when you're adding the geometry you're either adding height or depth to that object so basically you have to select the object you want to add height to then you right click on an empty space you're going to see extrude the shortcut for it is either empty or d so next time i'm going to do that i can just hit d so if you click on this you have your attribute manager options here. i'm going to talk about this later but so basically the simplest way is just click in an, on an empty space and drag sideways or so either I'm, I'm dragging sideways to extrude up to my right and if i drag to my left it extrudes down so that is what extrude does it allows you to extrude so you can extrude a polygon to add height to it all right so what are these um options what are they about what are they talking about so let's look at some things here so if i select this object and go back to my polygon mode hit d for my extrude let me bring everything back to zero all right so let me highlight the part that I want to extrude. Okay, and I hit D for extrude. I have some options here. I'm going to come back to this maximum. Let's look at this offset. Offset means the value of your extrusion. That is what this offset is about. So, right now, if I change in this value, I don't see any real time information of what is happening. The reason is because I have to hit this apply the first time before real time starts updating. So let's assume I want to extrude this up to this and I click apply, it extrudes. So you can see the depth of extrusion, that is what this offset is about. So if I now start increasing this value, you see, that is what this extrusion is about. The offset is the depth of your extrusion. Then this variation will not work even if I change now. Because what variation is supposed to do is to vary my extrusion level while some extrudes upward more than others so if you want to do an extrusion whereby um, they don't have a constant extrusion value or an offset value you use this variation and this can only work when you don't have preserve group right now is extruding this preserving this selection as a group just taking them as one part but as soon as I take this off and I go to variation, you start seeing the extrusion value. So I want to have a variation of let's say 85. And if I start increasing, you see that the extrusion rate is different for each of these objects. Then subdivision will add subdivision to your extrusion. So if I want to add more detail to this level of extrusion that I have. I'm going to click on the normal extrusion now I notice bevel and its variation is grayed out this is because some options here are not applicable for a particular component mode so bevel doesn't work with um, polygon it works with point mode so we're going to get to point mode very soon so that's just to let you know and if you look at this you can also convert or you create an end gun anywhere you have uh, your extrusion if i click on end gun but this will not do us good because you can see this converts everything to one but that doesn't mean this is one polygon all the points of subdivision are there so if i to go to points mode i will see these points so this could pose a form of um problem later so i don't really like putting this on so i want to see whatever detail i'm adding then preserve group you know that if i hit preserve group that means i can extrude 
preserving the group, then it annuls this value which you have here. So you, I need you to know that. Anytime you want to do uh, a very extrusion, you need to put up this preserve group. So where can you use preserve group again? So this preserve group works with this variation and also works with this maximum um, value uh, sort of. So where do we use maximum value? That can be used at edges. So let me select this part of this object. So let's assume I want to extrude this value here. By default, this is what you're going to have. You're going to have um, you're going to have 89 here in your own case. You're going to have 89 here in your own case. So if I do an extrusion and I go all the way up, this is what I'm going to get. We have this extrusion, and you can also see that variation is not working because this is on. If this goes, then variation will start to work. You can see that this is now varying. If I put this back, so let's take this back to zero, and so you see this extrusion. I'm extruding this object, and it's even though preserve group is kept, it's not extruding them as one object, it's extruding them sideways. And the reason why it's extruding this thing sideways is because of this value. Now, if your preserve group is off, you can't change this value. That's why I said this also works with it. So you can't change the maximum length or angle. So let's keep preserve group on. Now, what is happening is that this preserve group is telling extrusion to extrude an object provided the angle is from 89 um, downwards any angle of extrusion any, any extrusion which is between 89 89 degrees downwards you should keep them preserve them as group but if you look at this angle of object this is not 89 this is 90 so that means if you are to extrude this object and keep them together, that's the reason why it's not keeping them together. So if we are to keep these two together, we'll need to choose this value. Make sure it is more than 90. So if I click this, notice what happens. So because now we're not saying any object that are faced together which are more than 90 degrees, you should preserve them as group. But if not, don't preserve them from 90 downwards. Don't preserve them. Keep them as individual objects. So that is what this is with regards to this so anytime you want to do an extrusion of an edge you should have a value more than 90 for the extrusion to work then you can maybe i don't want subdivision this time i want to bring this back i hope that makes sense all right so the last one i'm going to talk about under this polygon mode is if you have to extrude this object for instance If you if you come down, you notice that all our extrusions so far are going up, but they don't have covers, they don't have caps, they are just being extruded. So if I extrude this upward now, see what happens. It's extruding it, but not putting an account, putting to account the geometry we have under that. But that is done with this straight cap. So anytime you want to extrude and you have crit cap on it covers that part but if not it extrudes upwards and that so i think that is for everything for polygon extrusion so let's look for let's look at another one which is the um point extrusion now so this time i'm i'm not going to i'm going to be fast with this now i'm just going to hit some important notes and we do this fast so by now you know the shortcut for extrusion is D so if I come here select this object that I want to extrude and I hit D on my keyboard notice that angle is no more active I have offset and I have a um, bevel so I have all these values so let's make this zero zero and undo that so the thing with um extrusion with points is that if you extrude 
click sideways you have these points going up and this point going up is not an extrusion i want to have an extrusion and still have a, a geometry to that extrusion that is what this bevel does so if i start increasing the value of the bevel you start seeing that i'm having an extrusion and also beveling the edge from which the extrusion is coming from this also has a shortcut that you can work um, interactively without coming here you can also have subdivision like we talked about you can create end gun so all this place that you have this you can create end gun so it cleans everything off and you have all this information then what else nothing more that's just it and if i change this value you also see your variation in extrusion you can also change variation in your bevel so some becomes very thick and some becomes that so let's look at the interactive part of it so if i undo this a couple of time and extrude upwards now i'm having a point so for me to add my bevel hold down shift while the extrusion is on so if you hold down shift and keep extruding that adds a bevel Okay, if you hold down shift, you have that. Continue, hold down shift, you have that. So, that is, I just wanted to know that. So, instead of you coming to the attribute manager, you can just, as you're extruding, hold down shift to increase your bevel value. And once you're done, release your hand from the shift, then you stop. That is that. So, let's look at the last one and wrap this up. I'm taking too long this is meant to be tip so i'm going to select this use my e for move to select and go back to edge mode so for edge mode if i select the edges that i want to extrude and i hit d on my keyboard notice that angle is not there offset is constant bevel is no more here but i now have edge angle which is not which wasn't given to us by others so if i extrude upwards you see what is happening and um okay i think i should reset everything so now if you're extruding an object at the middle this is what you're going to get it's going to be extruding it sideways and your intention is to extrude upwards so what you need to do is to change the angle of extrusion so it's extruding at angle zero but once you extrude the angle 90 so that means you have to change this value to 90 this angle this edge angle to 90 for it to extrude upwards all right so if I come here and select this and I extrude right now because I've changed my angle to 90 it extrudes upward instead of it coming um, downwards and all that so that is just to let you know that it's there if I come here and change this value to zero angle it extrudes it on the plane and all that then you can add subdivision change this so let's look at your snap angle now this also works interactively so if i come here and i try to extrude this object and i click it is extruding it at angle zero but if i hold down my shift on my keyboard and i keep moving my mouse i can change the angle of extrusion so let's assume i want to extrude it angle 45 downwards minus 45 so it extrudes downward but look at something then if I release my hand from shift, it extrudes. So I can interactively say how I want my extrusion. But then you look at the increments of my extrusion. If I come in, let's extrude this. Now, if I hold down shift, I want you to look at this angle, the angle edge here. I want you to look at this angle edge here. Holding down shift, look at what is happening. It's increasing at a particular angle. The increment value is what 15 you can't see that and the reason why we're having that is because of this value so if you want to increase this at angle 30 or maybe you want to have a more 
defined increments maybe at angle 5 5 degrees you can change this to 5 degrees then try and extrude them fill down your shift the increment goes at angle 5 degrees and that is just to let you know that is there and you can also do a preserve group for your extrusion so if I come to extrude D and I don't want to preserve this group so that this variation works I can click off preserve group and as I do that see the variation working and see see that some are extruding at a higher value while some are so that is a trick and tips about this extrusion and maybe you want to work interactively or you want to some hidden tools about extrusion so you can extrude a polygon object extrude um, a point object and also an edge object so using your extrusion and using some of these shortcuts basically using your shift key will change many things it changes your bevel um, value and also for your that's for the points mode for the edge mode shift key basically changes the angle the edge angle of extrusion then we talked about creating cap when you're extruding it so that you have a cover at the back and all that so i didn't create cap for this so we didn't really have a covering so if you have learned something in this please uh, i want you to give a like to this share the video let it get to some people and um, subscribe if you are new to this channel for more tips and project videos. Uh, do have a wonderful day.